loss. Light night on the prep fields, but at least by ASR standards, Milburn and Matt agreeing to help your aging host with a seven playoff game lift. Gentlemen, indicate that you are ready. All right, now we start with some baseball. Coastal League baseball over at Spanos Field. The Bishop School taking on Francis Parker in the bottom of the third. The Knights, Jarrett Littlefield lines to single, uh, single to left. Devin Thakur scores to tie things at one. In the top of five, the Lancers, Sterling Hayes blasts a line drive over the left field fence for a three-run bomb. It's the game winner. Parker wins the final four to three. Gilson. Heading to La Jolla Country Day, the Tories hosting Santa Fe Christian. Second inning, David Wiley, the chopper to third. It's going to be a play at the plate, and the ump says Colton Punches gets his foot in there. He's safe. Fourth inning, Brandon Nance draws the bases loaded walk. That brings in Wiley from third base. The Tories go on to win this one, the final 4-3. Milburn. Some Division Four boys volleyball title game out of Montgomery. Second seed Classical Academy taking on the top seed Del Lago. Opening point, Cayman sophomore Steven Fuson gets things started with one of his 11 kills on the evening. A little later, Classical Academy's Christian Nautash hammers home one of his team high 12 kills. Classical Academy wins the final 3-1, and they are your D4 champions. I love being a Cayman. Uh, I love going through season with these guys. I love Coach Joe, and I love my mom and dad, and thank them all for their support. Staying at Montgomery for the D3 championship, top seed Hoover taking on number two seed Coronado. Hoover captain Michael Cozy showing some hops as he puts away one of his team high 11 kills. Moments later, Cardinal senior Khalid Hassan gets the kill on championship point. Cardinals win in three. Hoover with the first CIF title and boys volleyball in school history. They are your division champs. I think it really hasn't hit me yet. I still think I'm in the game mode right now. I kind of want to just keep on playing right now. Hoover doesn't have the best history of CIF winnings. It's awesome to create that reputation. I hope this is the beginning and there's no stop to it. Boys single tennis championship. Point Loma's Ivan Thama versus top seed Ryan Segerman of Coronado. First set, Thama in the near court returns a tough serve. And then the forehand winner wins that set 6-4. to four. Championship point for Segerman in the near court. The serve and volley. He goes on to win 2-1 to one with two tiebreakers. This was definitely unlike any match I've ever had. Um, the back and forthness of it was just crazy. Finally, until the last point, I don't think anyone really was, was uh, confident that it was going to end one way or the other. It's definitely really exciting, but I'm still just kind of speechless. Staying at the Barnes Tennis Center for the doubles championship, Dulé and Lanahan of Otay Ranch playing Stratton and Terhack of Del Norte. First set, Terhack in the far court with the strong winner down the line. All four players would touch the ball on championship point as Stratton and Terhack win the match in two. The final 6 3 6 love. It's the first doubles championship in school history. It felt really, really good that our hard work like paid off together and like we could re represent our school like this. It feels really good. The final point, just relief. Just relief and happiness that, you know, we won the title and that's it. And up north, La Costa Canyon for the CIF Gymnastics Championship. You're looking at the team winners, La Costa Canyon and West Hills. They shared identical scores of 216, so they share top team honors. But the story of the day is the Wolfpack Tessa Anderson, the Mighty Might, wins the gold in the vault. Russian judge scores it at 9.475. She also wins the gold on the bars. The Ukrainian judge scores at 9.65. It gets better on the floor. Anderson scores a CIF record 9.80, according to the Estonian judge. And then the Bulgarians give the almost impossible to achieve score of 9.25 in the beam. That's another CIF record for the young lady. The sophomore setting a CIF record with 38.85 points in one meet. Why is that impressive? She could only score 40 and she almost got 39. I just was telling myself to finish strong and do it for the team. I came in here telling myself to do better than last year and just keep improving and it finally pays off. And how about the Beach Soccer USA Cup in Oceanside? Go Beach Soccer taking on Swap Meet FC. San Diego Soccer Nick Pereira feeds it to Rene Moreno for the goal. Later it's Pereira with the beautiful bicycle kick to extend the lead. The captain finishes with a hat trick. Final score, Go Beach Soccer 14, Swap Meet FC 4. The tournament goes for all ages through Sunday. It's amazing, you know, when I first started coming here, it was all local teams or teams from around the area. 
And uh, last year, I think they had a team from UAE. They had a team from Portugal. So we've been all over the place, and it's really fun for us that are local right here that, uh, to play against this kind of competition. It's great for my kids. I coach, and I got kids who come play here too. So it's amazing. We have a great weekend out of it. Gentlemen, well done. Final thoughts, please. Well, if you want to see any of this again, we have double good news for you. You can go to KOSI.com, and once you're there, head on over to the sports section, and you can replay all of these highlights to your heart's content. And, of course, you can also go to the Prep Pigskin Report YouTube page and find our nightly ASR content. We're going to reach the 2 million viewer mark before the year's over. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Life is good for, as good as it gets for the San Diego State track and field team as school and conference records were smashed at the Mountain West Championships. Brandon Stone picks up our story right there. The hardest path at San Diego State isn't on top of the sports deck. It's going from Campanile Walkway to Arts and Letters. I'm fast, but I'm slow walking across campus. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Professor's like, how are you so fast on the track? Well, he's late to class. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's tough. You're allowed to walk as slow as you want to when your team runs all over the Mountain West competition. No doubt about it. Ashley Henderson cruises through. San Diego State, for what we're doing right now, what we've been doing the last couple of years, you know, we, we're, we set all kinds of records in, in Utah you know, facility records, conference records. And for this group of ladies that we have this year, I think the sky's the limit. Thought we should have won last year. Last year, the outdoor conference championships, we lost by three points. Mm -hmm. And that one hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm actually just excited that they actually did it at the right time. Now to see me in addition to like 10 other girls as well that will be there with me, it is so great. Now that I don't have to like sit in the bullpen or the check-in area alone or don't have to stretch alone. <laughs> I actually have my teammates there to help me, support me, and also be there to be great as well. The track team isn't the only group of Aztecs still working towards the finish line. There's the matter of San Diego State University and their battle with Soccer City. If State's gamble doesn't pay off, it'll hurt the big fish football team. But that trickles down and will hurt the little fish like the track team. When I first got to San Diego State, there was less money available and the resources were less than they are right now. I'm gonna, if we wanna win, I'm gonna find a way to win because I've won on less. Do we need more money? Absolutely. Do we need more resources? Absolutely. Would the Mission Valley thing help all sports here? Absolutely. But if it doesn't, we're still gonna try to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. From San Diego State, this is Brandon Stone for the All Sports Report. We must take a quick break, but when we come back, uh, we'll see what we have time for right after these commercial words.